Hello and welcome to another Studio 360 VR free tutorial. I'm your host Marcelo Lewin. Today I'm going to show you how to perform secondary color correcting in your 360 degree video footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. As filmmakers create more and more 360 degree video footage, the shoot and upload mentality without doing any editing, color correcting or VFX will soon give way to the traditional filmmaking techniques of actually fixing your footage before posting it online. One of the things you may be asked to do is to perform secondary color correction. As an example, you may be asked to change the color of a specific section of the video to a different one. So let me show you how to do that. Our client came over to us and said, here's some 360 degree footage that we shot. And if you look up in the ceiling, I really don't like the color of that ceiling. I want that ceiling to be kind of a pinkish color. You look at him with a very strange face and go, okay, as long as he's paying. So we move forward, but then you stop and say, well, how am I gonna do this? This is 360 video. The first thing you need to do is switch your program monitor from 360 to regular. So now we have an equi-rectangular image here. The second thing is you need to have some sort of VR player running at the same time. Now your first question coming up in your mind right now is, why would I be having a VR player running on the side when Premiere Pro has a built-in VR player? Aha, uh -huh, very good question. Keep watching because you will see the answer soon. We know that we can do some sort of color balancing to this footage by just moving our sliders in Lumetri control panel but that affects everything. The question is, how do we mask the ceiling here? It's all curved, it's all messed up. What is the ceiling? What's the floor? Well, the first thing you need to do is understand an equirectangular image. You need to understand that the top is gonna be above you. If you are standing here and you're looking up, the top will be always above you. So this is gonna be your ceiling. The bottom is your floor. As you move to the right of the image, that's going to be your right. But as you keep going, this is actually going to be behind you. Now going to the left, that's going to be your left as well. But if you keep going, that's going to be behind you to your left. These two sides, the left side and the right side, will actually stitch together and form the complete sphere. It's very important for you to understand how an equirectangular image works and what is top, what is bottom, what is left, what is right, what is behind you, because you're gonna be working a lot, especially as you're doing special effects, you're gonna be working a lot with equirectangular images. And you may have in a second monitor, a VR player where you can see the actual output. So for example, here I see the ceiling in my program monitor, but in my VR player here, I can see it in full 360. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position the VR player like this so then I can see the entire ceiling. You can only mask on the screen when you are in flat mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move this over a little bit and we're gonna go to Lumetri under my effects panel and I'm gonna select a free draw bezier and then we'll go ahead and move this over again and we're gonna go to the program monitor and we're gonna change this to about 10% so we get to see more. And now I'm gonna do a very rough mask. Now I'm gonna to go to 100%, and I'm gonna go ahead and get really detailed and fix the mask so we're only masking the appropriate stuff. For example, here, we're, we're beyond the ceiling. We're right at the wall where they have sort of the border there. So let's fix this. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and go into fit the window and I'm gonna look at it and there it looks pretty good. So now here we are in my 360 view. It's still white. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit on the pinkish side by going to the Lumetri color panel. And there we go. We're only affecting the ceiling. We're making it a little bit stronger there. Maybe we'll fix sort of the contrast. No, that's too much. We'll go ahead and undo that. Okay, so here we go. So now, if you look at my 360 image, I went ahead and actually changed the color of the ceiling, and it's actually a pretty good job. Uh, you can finesse it a little bit more. You can play with the feather. So there are other parameters in the mask that you can play with, like the opacity, uh, the expansion. You can also play with the mask feather. So if you want to feather off a bit, so we'll go ahead and feather it off a bit here. We'll go ahead and open it up. It's easier to control. And you can see that it starts kind of like bleeding a little bit. We'll do a lot so you can see the, the big difference there. You go how it's falling into the actual wall now. So we don't want to do that. Maybe we'll feather it just a little bit. Maybe we'll do like 10. 
but you can see right here it's a little bit off it's kind of missing here a bit so if we look at our selves we're right here and the portion that is a bit messed up is directly above us right there so it's probably this section here and that's why it's very important to understand equirectangular images then you can start mapping from the your 360 image to the equirectangular and it's much easier to control so i'm going to go ahead and go to 100 percent again i'm going to scroll up there and there there we go so the part that's probably a bit messed up is somewhere around here yeah you can see that i kind of fixed it there already probably the next section is here if i do this yeah there you go so we'll go ahead and undo it so i'll go ahead and fix it up a bit and that's that's kind of fixed but it needs a little bit more here so we'll go ahead and play with the bezier lines here a little bit there we go and i think that's starting to look good anyway you get the point obviously you can really spend a lot of time fixing this up we'll go back to fit so you get to see it we can spend a lot of time fixing it up but the point here is that you can do really any kind of vfx that you normally do on 2d flat images the difference is you have to work with the equirectangular image when you're working with vfx and then preview those in your 360 player i hope this tutorial gave you a good understanding of how to create masks and perform secondary color correction on your 360 degree equirectangular footage if it did please click on the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel also remember to check out studio360vr.com for more free tutorials premium courses live webinars and much more so until the next free tutorial i'm your host marcelo lewin cheers everyone